Hey, good afternoon, boxing fans. Anthony with Bleacher Bums Gaming. And uh, purpose of this video is we are going to do uh, some testing on a new concept and basically express play, which is a uh, method of play that uh, cuts the round segments down from nine to three. So it's kind of a hybrid between the quick play chart that comes with the game and then the standard long play method. And uh, before we go any further to 100% uh, credit on this idea to Jason Grubb of Flash Games and check out that uh, great YouTube channel. He does a lot of uh, stuff with uh, both um, Glory Days Boxing and uh, Legends of Boxing. Also does uh, football stuff with um, Grid Zone, that great uh, game by Gary Brown. And I believe also has some second season. Oh, some uh, Wonelli College football as well. But anyway, Jason uh, came up with the uh, roots of this idea and is doing some uh, testing on his channel. And basically the principle, I'm going to do this, I'm going to test the method a little bit different than the one he's currently using. So this is how it'll work, basically. Um, instead, again, instead of going through uh, all nine segments, it's going to be in one minute increments. So what uh, will be different, I'll be using uh, 3D20s, and these will take care of uh, potential chin checks, cut checks, fouls, etc. And then obviously the standard... Uh, 2d6 and 2d10 for the um, results in each uh, one minute segment of the round. So again, the purpose of this is just to speed up gameplay uh, to get you through, say if you're doing a career sim with a fighter, to get through some of the earlier fights quickly and then you can play the regular um, full game at any point during that. So that's how it's going to work. So we'll do a test segment, uh, Tony Ayala Jr. against Davey Moore, a junior middleweight matchup. And, of course, Davey Moore uh, tragically uh, was killed in an accident not long after losing the title to Roberto Duran. Tony Ayala Jr. destined for greatness and just could not stay straight outside of the ring. Um, unfortunately, he is also deceased at this time. So two very promising junior middleweights back in the day whose careers uh, both were cut short or ended tragically. So the standard way it'll work is we will roll for the momentum. So four, it's going to be two stars for Ayala and uh, two stars for Davey Moore on the outside. So the first minute is going to be a toe-to-toe -to -toe exchange. And we would then use these dice first for Ayala which he is going to miss. And then we will go ahead and do it for Davey Moore. And Davey Moore, uh, going from the outside, 48, he misses as well. So at that point, uh, you would just move on to the next segment. And what I'm doing to make up for the different uh, differential in punches landed doing this method is every segment, the uh, 1D or the 2D6 rolls, the fighter that has momentum, which to start the fight would be Ayala, will get credit for the high number of punches landed, and the fight without momentum gets the low number. So even though the toe-to-toe -to -toe missed, uh, they will get credit for four and one punches respectively. And again, that's to make sure that the punch volume stays consistent uh, throughout an entire fight for terms of TKO checks during the round and accurately reducing fatigue. So next segment, and it's going to be Ayala with uh, two stars on the inside. He's going to have control, so 20 from the inside. Ayala is going to land a total of four big punches. And before we do that, uh, Ayala, actually it's going to be a total of 10. So he's going to go all the way up to 14, adding that to, uh, six to the four and Davey Moore is going to get credit for three. Now, this is where it, uh, my method is different a little bit from the one Jason is currently using. I'm going to roll a 1D20 for each 30-second uh, segment of that round. So Ayala potentially gets three chin checks on Moore, and all three of those are above. So we'll go to the final segment of the first round. And yeah, the more, again, the more I looked at uh, what Jason's doing and, and again, uh, looked at some things I wanted to do and made a couple of tweaks. I think this is going to be a pretty good method if you want to just kind of fast play fights. Uh, again, in about a third of the time is the normal uh, full game. So two stars for Ayala. Again, he's going to be in control to end the round. 
87, and that is going to be a clinch. So that ends the first round, and we are going to have a total of 14 punches landed for Ayala versus four for Davey Moore. And stamina, 75 for Ayala to start, and 70, I'm sorry, 70 for Davey Moore. So then you'll do the standard uh, judge scoring, and again, that's a 10-punch differential. So going from the chart there, it's going to be uh, 1 to 19. These uh, This round will go to Tony Ayala Jr., which is um, all three judges' cards. So that's really it. So you see how quick you can get through the round. Um, I'm taking no credit for uh, coming up with this idea. This is all Jason Graham. I'm just adding some, uh, again, my own personal touches and tweaks based on uh, me playing around with it, uh, how I think this will work out uh, good. All right, so we're going to go to the second round, and we'll just play it through. So round number two, again, using the uh, in-development express mode. Here we go. So Tony Allah is going to come out and is going to have control from the outside. A zero seven from the outside is going to be four punches landed. And then again, uh, using the addition, he's going to get another five punches landed for the um, blue die since he has momentum. And going for a single punch is Davey Moore. And we roll our chin checks now for Ayala. So Ayala, no uh, possible knockdown more. A potential cut came up for Davey Moore, so we'll roll against that. And five, that is indeed a cut. So Davey Moore is going to have a bloody nose here in the second round. So that's how cuts and other things will go or come into play using the express method. All right, we're going to go to uh, the two-minute mark of the round. And here we go. Ayala is going to have two stars. He is in control again from the outside. 61, he is going to miss. So again, with momentum, though, he'll get credit for six punches landed. Moore gets four, and Moore also gets a counterpunch check. 12, he misses that. Final minute of the round. And, you know, once I get this dialed into, I will do a, a formal tutorial and also do a written instruction on this uh, and put that on the Facebook group as well. All right, here we go. Final minute of the round, two stars for Ayala. He is again in control, and it is going to be from the inside. 91 is going to clinch, and that's going to be the end of this round. So 15 to 5 this time in terms of punches landed for Tony Ayala. And again, a 10 punch differential on the. Uh, in terms of referees scoring or the judges scoring. All right, so another round in the books. And I, I really do, again, very creative of Jason to come up with this idea. I really like how it works. So, so round three for the three-minute mark, it's going to be no stars and Davey Moore in control, 73. He is going to miss Tony Ayala. And Moore has, again, it's two here. Both uh, 1D6s or two, so both fighters will get two punches landed automatically, and Tony Alla gets a chance to counter. He misses on to the two-minute segment. Uh, six is, and it's going to be toe-to-toe, -to -toe. so first of all, let's give both fighters six punches landed for that. Davey Moore with momentum. He is going to go first, and it's going to come from the inside of 47, and a wild hook and an uppercut, two punches land there. Tony, oops, Tony Island Jr. fires back. We do not need those. 95 and 95. That is going to be a single punch and a potential foul. So here's how this will work. Uh, we're going to do three checks first for uh, more, power checks for more. And Tony Ayala is going to have to survive a chin check. And before we do that, we'll check on the foul rating. Larry Hazard's a ref. He um, increases foul rating by one. No foul and a chin check for De um, Tony Ayala Jr. He survives that. So on we go. And again, at uh, going to the final minute of the round, and it is going to be Tony Ayala Jr. with one star and two stars from the inside for Davey Moore. Moore, and he is going to miss Davey Moore with momentum, though. He's going to get credit for six punches off the 1D6, Tony Isla Jr., four, and the countering opportunity for Isla, and he misses as the round comes to an end. So total punches landed. The one thing um, 
that I'm going to look at, obviously, with the, these additional punches landed since we're doing express play, is the volume of punches. We don't want to skew fatigue or potential um, TKO checks that much by using this method. So something I'm going to keep an eye on. Uh, punch differential was three. So there, 1 to 11 will go to the high score, and it's going to be using red, white, and blue order is going to go to low, I'm sorry, high, low, low. So we are up to round number four now. Hey, what's up, Matt? Good to see you, my friend. Hope you're having a good day. All right, uh, on to the fourth round. All right, for the first uh, one-minute segment, here we go. It's going to be Ayala Jr. with two stars from the inside, and he's going to have control 12 from the inside. That is going to be heavy rights and lefts, so four punches landed for that, plus five. It's going to get him up to nine. Davey Moore lands three and more now. And Moore is going to have to survive two chin checks. So six or worse, he is hurt. And Moore eats those punches. No harm, no foul. And we jump ahead a minute now to two minutes to go in the round. Ayala Jr., he's going to have two stars from the inside. Again, in control from the inside. Charges in behind a lead cross. Three punches landed there, plus another six. And Davey Moore gets five. And now the chin checks for Moore. And Moore's going to have to survive two more chin checks in this uh, one-minute segment. And 8-2, he uh, makes it past one, but he goes down. Davey Moore hits the canvas. And will this fight end? 20, he is up with a minute to go. And there is going to be um, the one thing I'm not going to do uh, using this method is the... Uh, on a post segment because we're playing express in one minute segment. So we'll just uh, resume. Actually, no, we do have to do that. Never mind. So it's going to be no, uh, no stars for Ayala. And two stars for Davey Moore. So Moore's going to take momentum uh, from the outside. And that negates a potential TKO check. And Ayala Jr. now is going to have to survive a chin check. And five, Ayala Jr. is hurt, but the round is coming to an end. So that's going to be a 10-8 round for Tony Ayala Jr. So the one thing that... Um, how do you like Stratomatic, Matt? I have not uh, ever played uh, Stratomatic um, college football. All right, so one thing for sure is this is going to suck up stamina, stamina a lot quicker than the regular game method. So I'll, I'll probably tweak the way I uh, track additional punches. And also in terms of the unopposed uh, action, too, that's something I'm going to have to look at further. But, again, this is very preliminary testing on this method. Round number five, and it's going to be deuces. Davey Moore from the inside. First of all, they both get credit for two punches landed. And Davey Moore from the inside, that's going to be a clinch. That ends the segment. Move ahead to the two-minute mark. And Ayala, two stars, toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Davey Moore goes first from the outside. Uh, Davey Moore is going to miss. Ayala Jr. does not, or also misses, I'm sorry, and that's going to be a three-to-one punch advantage for Davey Moore for that segment. And final one-minute segment, it's going to be two stars for uh, Ayala Jr. He's in control from the outside. He misses, and he'll get credit for four punches to two, and Davey Moore now gets a chance to counter, and five, Davey Moore on the countering opportunity lands a couple more. So that's the end of the fifth round. And nine to seven there. <clears throat> yeah, I really do like this express method for sure. The one thing, again, that I'm going to have to uh, look at further are, uh, is doing TKOs. 
the TKO checks. That's the one right now, the one flaw I see in using this express method, at least the way I'm doing it. Uh, Jason, I know, does it a little bit differently, but all right, round number six. Yeah, that's, I, that's the other thing. You don't see the uh, strat college game at, rarely at all. Um, I know a big one now is Woe Nelly. Uh, that, that's a very uh, intriguing game, and that's gaining some popularity. And hopefully, uh, again, as I go on, I'm going to do some more uh, testing or with uh, Glory Days College Football, too, as we uh, get ready to go to the next portion of this fight. Round number Stamina going into round number six. Uh, Davey Moore has only 10 left and I'm sorry, three left and I all have 33. So again, that is going to be an issue. Davey Moore from the outside. They're both going to get credit for a single punch. 92 from the outside is going to be a clinch. Move to the two minute mark. Isla Jr., one star from the outside, and he is in control. 96 from the outside. And that is going to be a potential foul, first of all. Uh, five more punches for Ayala plus the foul punch, and we will do the foul check. 17, no, last minute of the round. And one star from the outside, Davey Moore, two stars from the inside, it takes control. And again, Ayala is going to get six punches there, or four punches there, sorry, and Davey Moore, an automatic six plus whatever he gets on this result, 37 from the inside, and that is going to be three punches working inside behind the jab. And we will now conduct the uh, potential knockdown and other things. And Ayala Jr. is going to have to survive a chin check, which would come in the second segment. He does, and that's the end of the round. So that's going to be dead even, 11 punches each. And we will go to the judges. All right, dead even. It is going to go. Two of the judges are going to go with Ayala on this, and two with Baby Moore. As we move on to round number seven, and Baby Moore is fatigued at this point, so that's going to come into play. Here we go, round seven, the three-minute mark, or three-minute segment. Two stars from the inside for Ayala, and he's in control. It's going to be five to three punches landed there, and 94, that's going to be a clinch. Uh, Ayala, again, two stars from the inside, again in control, and again a clinch. So that's going to be another five punches landed. I'm definitely going to have to tweak uh, how I incorporate extra punches landed but that's something i'll think of further as we go and i always going to finish the round on the inside in control 53 and it's going to be five punches each first of all and then a couple more for ayala and knockdowns and cuts and no knockdowns or cuts as we are through another round so i i, I really do like the speed that this progresses again i'm going to have to tweak i think what i'll do Probably what I will do um, is take the lower of the two D6s and apply them to both fighters. I don't know. I'll have to think about that further. Again, I want to make it so that the uh, express version equals the same number of punches landed as the game, playing the full, full game. So that's uh, definitely what I'm going to need to look at quite a bit deeper as we have a six-punch differential here. All right, 1 to 15 is going to go to the low or the high, and Baby Moore is going to snatch one of these rounds from one of the judges, or this round from one of the judges. Uh, heading into round eight, and Stamina, Ayala, still has 11 left, so he'll be good for at least another round. You know, and I guess, I guess this could be about right. I mean, Baby Moore came in with 70 Stamina. He ran out of Stamina. Um, in the seventh round. So, yeah, maybe it doesn't need to be tweaked that much. Uh, uh, Will Nelly, a little I've watched. Yeah, no, that's the one thing with Will Nelly. I know the uh, team sets are very small, um, so that's going to be a cost. That's one thing I'm really trying to work on is to keep a good price point for Glory Days football. Um, 
So I've got some tweaking the format to get more teams on a single print sheet, which obviously lowers the cost. Hey, Mark, welcome, buddy. Uh, so, yeah, and guys, give me your comments. What do you think about this Express Play version? I'll recap it again at the end, but we're ready to go round number eight. And at the three-minute mark, it's going to be two stars from the inside for uh, two stars outside for Davey Moore. So it's going to be a toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Ayala is going to go first from the um, – inside and he came in with momentum so he gets the automatic three punches there he's going to get another two on the toe-to-toe -to -toe. and Davey Moore's crack at a toe-to-toe -to -toe, 19 and Davey Moore is going to let the hands go four big punches land for Davey all right so possible power checks first for Ayala he's going to get two and Davey Moore is going to get a cut chance so first chin checks Shaking both of those uh, chances off is more, and Ayala does not get cut, so we move ahead to the two-minute mark. All right, it's going to be a one star from the outside, a one star from the inside, and again, having momentum coming in is Ayala, so he's going to get the benefit of that extra punch, and he's going to go first, and a vicious salvo, five big punches land there. Davey Moore fires back, and Davey Moore gets a couple shots in. Power checks for Ayala, and he's going to have two more chin checks on Moore. Davey Moore, if he survives, will have one chin check on Ayala. So Davey Moore, first of all, he survives them both. Ayala, and 12, he takes it as well. So the last minute of the round. Uh, two stars for Ayala, and he's in control to close it off. It's going to be three to two on the automatic punch uh, tracking. And Ayala is going to uh, end up in a clinch. That's going to be the round. So both fighters are going to be tired now. You know, maybe it's not bad actually having a, a few more punches landed than you would get in the regular game. Both fighters are going to be tired now going into the ninth. And that's going to be a uh, eight punch differential. A round that should go to Ayala. And as I say that, <laughs> the judges do not quite agree. All right, here we go. Round number nine. Obviously, you can see how much quicker this goes, um, and I'm just even going slower because I'm talking as I go through it. As we start round number nine, and it's going to be, first of all, automatic five punches landed for both. And it's going to be a uh, Ayala in control from the inside. 25 is going to be a three-punch salvo. And he's going to get one chin check. And one thing actually I decided to do that I'm not doing is a defensive check. So I'm going to show you how those incorporate into this. So he's get one, uh, one chin check on Moore, which means Moore will have two defensive checks. The red die is the chin check, and Moore survives that, and he's going to take away a single punch from Ayala. And I, I totally spaced that. That's something I thought about and decided to do. But again, I'll recap the entire weight to do this express play at the very end of the video. And it's going to be uh, Ayala from the outside, two stars in control. So four punches for Tony Ayala, three for Davey Moore on the auto punch. 69 and missing is Ayala. And 10 firing back is Davey Moore. He's going to miss the counter. Final minute of the round. No stars for Ayala. Davey Moore, no stars. It's going to be toe-to-toe. -to -toe. So once again, um, more with or Ayala with momentum gets the higher one uh, d six, forty two. He's going to go first, and that's going to be a couple of punches getting through. Davey Moore fires back, sixty three. He misses, so it's going to be power checks and one chin check for Davey Moore and five. Davey Moore is hurt, but that is the end of the round. So it's going to be. 18 to 10, another big round for Ayala. And he's on his way to a fairly comfortable decision. Barring any crazy scoring. All right. Da 
da, 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 da. Okay. All right, final round of this battle. Ten round of junior middle showdown. And hey, what's up, Big Polly? MB has joined us as well. Uh, welcome. And uh, England, why did we tie Scotland yesterday? My goodness. All right, was that I got Thursday? I'm sorry, but yeah. I thought this year's English squad would have a real good chance at the Euro Cup, and it just seems like they always do something to um, come up short. What I would do, uh, Mark, for female um, fighters, since you're only doing – that was a nightmare. Since you're only doing uh, two-minute rounds, would just be two segments uh, like this. And I think actually the uh, using the uh, 2D6s to do these supplemental punch additions would probably actually work better even for female fighters. Uh, so here we go, final round, and this has been all Tony Ayala, and it's going to not change right here as he gets a total of eight punches through. And in control, Davey Moore, he's going to have to survive a chin check. So blue will be the chin check, the other two defense checks. And Davey Moore is hurt. So down to the two-minute segment of the round, Davey Moore. Okay, Davey Moore is going to get his punches, but uh, to bring the TKO aspect into play, it's still going to be unopposed. So that's going to be a single punch for Davey Moore and the toe to toe action or the unopposed action. Sorry, is going to take place on the inside A 32 charges in behind a lead cross and we're going to do our chin checks and then we'll have to do a TKO check as well. So power checks first and it's going to be a single chin check. Chin check first, and more is okay, and TKO check, and again, he is fatigued, so his uh, will rating is a seven, plus one for Larry Hazard, eight. This fight is over, folks. All right, so there you go, a 10th round TKO, and uh, this came off of the second segment, well, technically the two-minute segment, but the second segment of the two-minute segment. So that's how we'll get our stoppage time. In other words, it will be segment number five. And the end comes at one minute, 32 seconds. So there you go. Minute and 32 seconds of round number 10. Your winner by technical knockout, Tony Ayala Jr., the baby bull. All right. So that is the express play method for Glory Days Boxing. And again, that went almost uh, 10 full rounds and 27 minutes, uh, definitely quicker than you would uh, get playing the um, full, full uh, nine segment rounds. But again, I spent a lot of time talking and explaining. So probably actual play time for that 10 minute fight was uh, probably just under about 20 minutes or so, which uh, again, if you're looking to get through fights quickly and don't want to use the quick play chart, uh, this this is probably your sweet spot because it's again hybrid. It gives you a little bit of the full length gameplay and then incorporates quick play chart elements. And, and as I continue to get to the point where I'm comfortable with this and also using feedback from Jason Graham and again, Full credit for this idea goes to Jason Graham. Again, check out his uh, Flash Games YouTube channel. Does a great job and very creative here. So just to recap, the way this will work is you roll the 2D6s. Whichever fighter has momentum, and this would be a toe-to-toe. -to -toe. So coming out of the gate, uh, round number one, red corner would have momentum. And that would be five-to-one punches landed there. Next, you roll a 2D10 and obviously you do them together. So Tony Ayala would have uh, another four punches landed. So that's the second part of it. Then three uh, 1D20 for chin checks. And here, uh, Davey Moore is going to have to survive a single chin check on the white die. And again, I read these red, white, and blue. So if a knockout did occur, it would basically come in the 240 segment of the round. So the white die will be Davey Moore's chin check. The other dies will be defensive checks. So he survived the chin check and his defensive check. He adds a single punch. 
then you move ahead a full minute. Uh, one more time. So first, the red and white, one star for Ayala, two stars for Davey Moore. So Davey Moore takes momentum. He's going to get the six punches landed, Ayala Jr. one. And then going from the outside, the 1D20 for Davey Moore, that would be three punches landed, works inside behind the jab. So he's up to 10 now. Finally, three power checks, and there are no power checks. Ayala is going to have to survive a cut check, which will be off the red die. So eight, Tony Ayala Jr. is cut, and we also have a defensive die there. Uh, Tony Ayala Jr. is a terrible defensive fighter, so he's going to add one and finally survive a cut, or he was cut, I'm sorry. Nine, and nine is going to be swelling on the right eye. So that's how you incorporate every uh, element of the game in a third of the time, the express method. And again, full credit to uh, my good friend Jason Graham of Flash Games YouTube channel and a uh, really, really creative idea. So we're going to continue to work on this, and I'll actually get some formal uh, literature put together for it to, uh, again, hit that sweet spot if you don't want to use a quick play chart but don't want to use the full play option all the time this might do it for you so hey thanks for watching guys um yeah matt no, i no, nothing formal yet i'm kind of jay jason is doing uh go check out his channel too he's doing things a little bit different i'm um taking his original ideas and adding some tweaks trying to get a, a very good balance in terms of punch volume and stuff like that. So once, once I am content uh, with that piece of it, I'll definitely put together something in writing to uh, uh, again, make an, and actually I'll actually do um, uh, a supplemental chart for the printed game as well, which will be included with that to assist uh, using this method. So that's it. Um, so again, really cool idea from, um, Jason and hope you like this. Leave any comments and hit that like button if you don't mind. Uh, yeah, let, let me, I can send you, uh, I can send you, um, kind of a quick overview or just, you know, go off of this, uh, Matt and give it a shot. It's again, you cut the rounds into one minute segments and, um, you know, basically everything is the same as a normal segment with the exception of adding the 2D6s to punch totals. And then, of course, the three die per chin checks. And again, that part was implemented just to make sure we had good balance um, in terms of number of stoppages. Because initially, I know when uh, Jason was doing this, he was doing only a single check. And uh, some things we talked about was adjusting the power ratings and chin ratings of the fighters. But you know, as Jason said, then you end up doing math, uh, more math to set up a fight. Uh, so this seems to me, this is the method right now that I like using the three uh, D20s, which would cover chin checks, potential power chin checks for each segment of the round. So that's really it. There's not much a lot or not much more to it than that. Um, we'll be back with another video on this. And I also have uh another video for the football game in development that I want to get feedback on in terms of determining uh, ball carriers and things like that. I'm trying to make that a little bit more seamless. So anyway, hey, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you all have a great afternoon. Anthony with Bleacher Bums Gaming, and we will see you later.